very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so let's talk about what happened this week in the premium forex signals group i would like to insist that what happened was not our fault by anyhow let's keep in mind that the bad results happened only in the days when they have announced the news of the promising upcoming uh, vaccine for the COVID-19 virus however the remaining days were really awesome and fantastic I think only Thursday was not good because uh, we thought that the pound is gonna fall uh, upon the news that there is gonna be a discussion about a deal or no deal for Brexit and we thought that the pound is gonna fall however that was only uh, the really bad day however the rest of the days were really good but let's keep in mind I wanted to share with you this beautiful and amazing message that we have received from this member he's by the way keep in mind that he sent it on 20th of november meaning he have sent it after the bad results so look at that he's saying that he's very proud to be of the team and he have made 2200 pips of profit in just 30 days of trading with us amazing in 30 days i have made 2200 pips from 146 trades of which uh, 88 are won and 58 are loss now let's keep in mind that the losses are not 50 pips each one of them they have never reached the stop loss only very few of them and he even says he said that but i think very few have reached five or six hit stop loss which happened i think on thursday because of these news about the pound however uh, the results or sorry the profits are greater than the losses thankfully because most of our uh, uh, tech profits are actually reaching the tech profit number two and three and this guy here he's very organized look at that he's writing the signal tech profit number one two three stop loss and i think here uh, like a remarks or writing how many won and how many lost uh, we have here for example uh, seven win three loss five win three loss eleven win three loss and so on so as you can see, he, this guy he's, here is he's really organized. Now, what is the difference between this gentleman here and these others haters? The, the haters who can see their comments on YouTube and on Telegram, of course, when they are contacting us. The difference between these two type of people, this guy here is prepared and he is a real trader. Unlike those others who are not prepared, who are expecting us to have a magic ball or something to predict the news before they happen. Uh, of course, here is another message we have received also from one of the clients and it's very beautiful and very long as well. And he's explaining that what happened here is really not our fault and we cannot predict what will going to happen. And here is also another two messages that we have received as well. He's telling that last day's results meant, meant nothing. I'm sure you will keep up with your excellent work. And this gentleman here also saying, I thought, but this, these are two different people, by the way. He's saying that you are doing good job. No one has a magic ball and sees the future. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. We could never expect the news to, to happen like that and to change the, dire to change the direction of our signals. All in all, our signals doing really amazing in my opinion and we are making a lot of profits and a lot of pips delivered to, delivered to our members. Um, what happened uh, this week was exceptional, of course, and I think it has affected everyone in the Forex uh, market, not, uh, not only us. So uh, we are still doing very well, I think, and the uh, proof of that, the results of Friday, Friday was really good also. We are back on track and thankfully we managed to end the day in a good profit. So if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so let's now begin with the weekly analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now regarding the euro USD, uh, last week's signal was for the short. I have mentioned that we can start shorting the pair exactly from the level of that resistance right here. And the pair has went in almost 53 pips of profit before it hit uh, the stake profit level by 12 pips only. And it has reversed as we can see right on that support level right here. Now that reversal telling us a lot. Now the pair couldn't actually break out from that support level on 1.18210. And what we can see right here on the one hour time frame as well is uh, so many weeks here or so many tails indicating a strength in the support level, which of course indicates a rejection from breaking that support. Then the market has actually made more than six candles uh, or sorry, more than six uh, bullish candles and the market kept rising all the way up until hitting that resistance level. 
then once the candles has reached that previous support the market has went in neutral mode meaning the market most likely right now is retesting that broken support level and in my opinion it's gonna continue the fall for a little bit more just to hit the strong key support level right here before it's gonna be valid for the buy therefore uh, the euro USD this week seems like it's gonna continue the rise and let's go back to the one uh, sorry to the four hour time frame if I'm not mistaken, the Euro USD is going to continue to rise all the way until it hit the resistance level or the highest level of the resistance at 1.19663. Meaning the pair actually uh, has a potential to rise for another 120 pips. Hopefully we will make them all and we are going actually to start buying the pair uh, from the strong support level right here, key support level on 1.18428. That being said, Let's mark here that we can start buying the pair at 1.18425 and let me draw for you the safe zone edge. The safe zone is actually going to ranging until the lowest level of the next or the, sorry the previous strong key support level and that's going to be ranging for almost 42 pips. Actually it doesn't need more than that or maybe a little bit just like that. Perfect. Let me just fix this one as well like this and of course if that happens the take profit level is gonna be exactly right here at the top of the resistance take profit is gonna be 1.19663 1 uh, so there goes the signal for the euro USD. hopefully it will work uh, well for us and we will make some good profits out of it now moving to the pound USD. Okay, I know you guys don't like me to show off. However, I'm very proud of the signal of the euro of the pound USD because the pair has reversed exactly at the given level from the midweek analysis video and it has went all the way to the take profit level uh, making 117 pips of profit before reversing. So it was really one of the most perfect signals given ever. It's completely perfect. Anyway, what happened next is amazing. Look, let's 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 look at the pair together. So as we can see, uh, similar to the to the euro USD, the pound is actually rising up. As we as I said, we were expecting from the pound to fall. However, it seems like the bullish momentum is very strong and the pair is going to continue the rise. However, the pair has finally managed to break out from the long term resistance on 1.32087. That is the resistance I'm looking here, and the pair, the pair has actually finally managed to break out of it. Now, what does that mean? That means that the, 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 the pair is actually going to continue the rise and we can start buying the pair again. And it seems like the pound USD is going to continue the rise all the way until it hit the top of the resistance at 1.34797. Of course, we have to keep in our mind that this week there are some upcoming news about a deal or no deal for Brexit, which is really boring already, man. I'm so sick of that, to be honest with you. Even the investors are not making any reaction on the market once these news are, are coming out. They also feel sick of it and they are not giving any reaction. So anyway, uh, what I was going to say here is uh, we can start actually buying the pound USD um, at the next attempt of hitting that support trend line. So therefore, we can see right here, I'm looking for the strong support levels. So therefore, uh, let me just be sure of the signal given. We need to look at the left to find the strong or the good support levels. Now, what we can see right here, here is the support, which was also a strong resistance in the past. That means this support level here uh, is reliable and we can rely on it to start buying the pair again. Exactly right here. Yes. So it's just it's just like a continuation of the trend. Uh, we had here so many several attempts of the resistance right here to and three and right now we are on the fourth attempt most likely the pair is actually going to continue the rise and actually make the break out from that resistance so therefore the pound usd should be good for the buy man buy from uh, 1.32602 and the, the safe zone of, of course is going to be ranging till the end of that support level which is going to be 50 pips exactly and uh, let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone which is going to be exactly like that and this time 
uh, the take profit level i'm not gonna make it to the top of the peak of the resistance of course not i'm gonna change it to make it only to that resistance right here that resistance right here uh, is gonna be our target and we are aiming like this almost 100 pips hopefully we will make them all so the take profit level for the pound usd is gonna be on the level 1.33581 i think it's more safe to make these these scalping signals um we have this we have we need to have the signals valid uh, till wednesday so i can release the midweek analysis video with the new signals instead of telling you to keep the current signals so there goes the signal for the pound usd hopefully also it's gonna work very well for us now check the AUD USD. AUD USD signal is still ranging at the sell level given. However, I think this signal is no longer valid uh, upon the move, the strong uh, sorry um, the strength that the USD index is gonna is actually gaining right now. Therefore, what we can see right here is that the pair has actually been ranging for quite a long time here on the top of the resistance and the pair is actually seems like it's going to continue to rise and make the break out of that resistance now the question is where we can start buying the pair we can see right here that we are having here what we actually from the AUD USD we can expect what we call a price explosion to happen look at that the pair right now is being trapped inside this channel and eventually the pair is actually gonna explode and rise above that uh, channel to continue the growth therefore uh AUD USD should be really good to start buying exactly from the from the, the line here i have drawn here exactly like that from that support level right here which was also a support here and a support here so most likely that support is gonna actually keep the level or sorry um keep the the yeah it's gonna keep its level and it's gonna con uh, keep its strength and hopefully it's gonna continue the rise right from that level so AUD USD should be good for the buy at the 0 0.72850 and let me just delete this uh, channel for you okay so that's there goes the signal for the AUD USD let me draw the edge of the safe zone which actually should be right here until the lowest level of the support and exactly right here yes just like that a little bit more exactly yes the reason I have chosen this edge here to be at the edge of the safe zone as we can see that is the, actually one of the strongest support level we can see on the structure and i don't think the pair is actually going to be able to break out of that support most likely if in worst scenarios the pair is going to fall inside the safe zone definitely is going to actually reverse at that support level right here so therefore uh, that's going to be the edge of our safe zone which is going to be uh, ranging for almost 50 pips no more just like that and let's see together the target the target of course is going to be uh, above that resistance level right here is going to be the resistance right here on 0 0.73800 and hopefully also we will make them all so the take profit level 0 0.73800 so the target is actually hopefully we are aiming from this trade uh, about 95 pips of profit meanwhile the stop loss is ranging uh, after 50 pips so uh, there goes your signal for the AUD USD. Hopefully, also it's gonna work well for us. Let's now look at the USD CAD. Now, for the USD CAD, the signal actually hasn't been triggered exactly from the given level, uh, but in, it's actually good for the buy right now, as we can see. Um, not no, sorry, I mean from the edge of the safe zone. However, uh, USD CAD actually, um, in my opinion, is gonna continue the fall. However, it's just a matter of where we can start shorting the pair. Now, from what I can see, actually, that the bearish momentum is very strong. And as we can see, the pair is actually moving on a bearish trend line. And by the way, this th do you see this bearish trend line or this uh, resistance trend line I have drawn here? You can actually use it multiple times on any different tops and bottoms. As you can see, just by dragging the line, I can use it right here. And as we can see, the pair has respect respected that level here as well actually this is a strategy of using a trend lines that i have explained uh, on my channel many times look at that even on the support trend line it is respecting the level so anyway uh, i'm not here to talk about the strategy i'm, ho I'm here to just to talk about that th by drawing the resistance trend line right here we can expect from the pair to actually respect that level right here as we can see 
So what I'm trying to say here is USD CAD should be still good for the short, but we have to wait for it to rise for another um, maybe 18 to 20 pips only uh, before it hit that resistance level right here. That is the resistance. Of course, as we can see in the past, it was also a strong support level and the bearish breakout candle. It was strong actually, and the market has made an here, made here, sorry, made here an attempt to break out of the resistance. However, it has immediately failed, and the pair has actually tried three, actually four times to break out from that resistance, but each time it was failing. So, therefore, in my opinion, the USD CAD should be good for the short. And this is exactly what we will do. We will short the USD CAD at the level 1.3117575. 1 and the safe zone, of course, is going to be ranging until the top um, of the next resistance. No, that's actually a lot. Uh, just let's just be sure right here on the top of that resistance. So we're talking about potential 55 pips, which is really fair enough. That's going to be good for shorting the USD CAD. And that is the edge of the safe zone. And of course, if we started shorting the pair here, the target is going to be actually the lowest level right here of the support. I know you might say that the target is small compared to the to the stop loss. However, I really don't want to play. I'm not playing here. We are trying to be safe as much as possible. And as I said, I want the signal to still be valid until Wednesday. Then I can give actually a new signal instead of just telling you to keep your positions. So, uh, sorry, let's sell. Take profit is going to be at 1.3035. So we can expect uh, from this trade about 83 pips of profit. Hopefully also we will make them all. Let's now look at the USD JPY. The USD JPY signal didn't work at all. As we can see, the pair is moving in a very strong bearish momentum and seems like it's going to continue the fall. Now, the question is where we can start shorting the pair again. Now, by looking at the left, we can see right here that we are having uh, the strong key support level uh, right here on the level 104.020. And seems like the pair uh, doesn't seem able to actually break out from that level anymore. Therefore, this is exactly where, we, where we're going to start shorting the uh, USD GPY. Now, actually, the pair is ranging right here on the support and seems like it's going to actually make one more attempt on the resistance. And then after that, it's going to be good for the short. So therefore, uh, we have to wait for the USD GPY to rise for another 20 pips before we can start shorting it. So USD GPY should be good for the short at 104.020. And the safe zone this time is going to be ranging until the peak of the previous resistance level, which was right here. So the safe zone is going to be ranging for 45 pips, no more. And let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone, just like that. And the target is going to be, of course, the lowest level of the support right here on 103.24. So take profit level 103.224. Hopefully also we will make some good profits out of this signal. Now moving to the USDCHF. As we can see, the USDCHF has been ranging at the entry level of the buy almost for the whole week. So therefore, let's see what we can do next with the USDCHF. Now things are changing. As we can see, we are moving here on a strong bearish momentum. And as we can see, the pair actually is um, respecting this resistance trend line and seems like it's going to actually continue the fall. However, right now we are facing a support level. Actually, the USDCHF is a very tricky pair and it's it has a lot of strong key support and resistance levels. I mean, that is really confusing sometimes. And therefore, um, I think before recording, this is one of the most uh, pairs I spent time actually analyzing. Of course, after the gold, the gold, I spent really long time to analyze it. Anyway, uh, USDCHF should be good for the short right here exactly exactly right here the reason i'm picking this level as i said before uh we are now moving in a bearish trend and the, the pair seems like it's actually going to continue the rise a little bit more to hit the resistance trend line for one more time and then it's going to continue the fall all the way to revisit the same level of the support on uh, 0 0.90420 zero. now the thing is this is a strong key resistance levels in the uh, in the past and therefore this is going to be hopefully respected 
and we will see the pair actually reversing right from that point so USDCHF is good for the short as 0 0.91231 and let me just delete these lines all right so this edge of the resistance should be good for uh, the edge of the safe zone which is going to be last for uh, 52 pips only and hopefully that not even going to be reached i mean i think the pair is going to continue the fall Im right away immediately and therefore as i said before that support right here is going to be our take profit level so hopefully we will we will make about 83 pips profit from this trade and take profit level is 0 0.90395 Hopefully also it will work for us well and we will make some good profits out of it. All right, so let's now move to the gold. Now for the gold signal, I am actually more than proud because it has worked perfectly, not only once, but twice actually. Uh, that is the level where I have given to start shorting the gold. And as we can see, the pair has reversed exactly from that given level and reversed for 100 and 147 pips of profit total of 183 and the signal as i have mentioned before it is disqualified after hitting the take profit level however those who have entered the signal again have actually uh, made another good profit as we can see the pair has exactly reversed at the same level again and went all the way to the take profit level but this time it went for almost 280 pips however now the bullish momentum is very stronger on the gold more than the uh, bearish let me just show you that let me delete the old signal and let's keep in mind that the pair has been ranging for a really long time on that support zone the gold is actually respecting that level as we can see right here that is a support zone and the pair hasn't been able to break out of from that level since more than two months and actually it all started right here from that uh seven sorry on the 7th of October, it has all started and the pair has been ranging right on that support level or sorry, the support zone for quite a long time. However, I, as I have mentioned before, the gold won't seem like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna uh, stop the bearish momentum until it reach the strong resistance right here on 1,931.57. I still believe that this is gonna be the golden uh, entry or actually the golden opportunity for us to start shorting the gold me that means that the pair is actually definitely sorry definitely is gonna continue the rise so so now it's a matter of where we can start buying the gold again now let's keep in mind that we want to start buying the gold only on the very strongest supports level and if i'm not mistaken that support level right here on 1864.80 seems like it's actually the most trusted level to start buying the gold however it's not only about the strong support and resistance levels we also want to have a proper analysis now what we can see here also that we are having here the bottom or the, the tail here uh, has reversed from that support level that support has already became a new resistance and then we can see right here we had a support number one has already appeared so it's more safe actually to start buying the gold right here from that level exactly from that point because by that i am drawing my line perfectly fine or sorry it's aligning with the support number one and therefore we can start buying the gold once it creates a support number two now uh, let's uh, let's write the signal so the gold should be good for the buy at 1000 oh, sorry 1863.67 as i said that is the safest level to start buying the gold and the target this time is actually gonna be the peak of the resistance right here and by that we are actually aiming 220 pips of profit so the take profit level 1884.90 now for the stop loss of course the stop loss will be similar and as i mentioned before it's gonna be right here at the edge of the safe zone oh sorry of the of the support level right here just like that that is the safe zone i don't think the pair is actually going to be able to move below that support level unless there was some really unexpected news uh anything about let's say for example for example i'm just giving examples here uh let's say which is actually not going to happen that mr trump wins a case that the elections has been manipulated for example that is of course definitely gonna um 
change the, the direction of the gold. Another example is announcing a delaying in uh, uh, producing the, 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 the vaccine for the COVID-19 virus. That also might affect the gold uh, signal. So please be extra careful and be wise when you are trading the gold. It's really very sensitive for the CNUs. Anyway, this week seems very promising. I think there are no uh, upcoming, oh, sorry, there is no really uh, high impact news coming this week except for the uh, discussions about the Brexit and if there will, there, there will be a deal or no deal but however i don't think these news will be able to move or sorry change the direction of the market they might make some changes however i don't think they are actually gonna really change the the direction of the market uh, same like uh Fizzer have make ha has made actually here on the gold once they have announced uh the release of the vaccine of the COVID 19 virus however as I said, it seems like a promising week and we are looking forward to make some good profits out of it. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.